gonna, we're gonna burn everything, everything to ash. Two years ago, the small town of Kalini in the northwest was plunged into chaos as some of the town's residents took to the streets in violent protest against the death of 16-year-old Matomula Mushweu. Mushwe was killed when he was pushed off a moving vehicle by two men for allegedly stealing sunflowers. Peter Dorovart and Philip Skutter were arrested in connection with the murder in April 2017. The pair claimed Mushwe jumped off the vehicle when they were taking him to the police station. They were charged with murder and attempted murder. As shop owners and farmers swept away burnt rubble and picked up shards of broken glass left by the protesters, police were still struggling to locate Mushweu's family two weeks after the tragic incident. Mushweu's family was finally found and informed of their son's death. <laughs> Mushu was laid to rest on the 6th of May 2017. On the 8th of May 2017, the community was once again outraged when the accused were granted bail of 5,000 rand each. On the 17th of October 2018, Skutter and Dorovart were found guilty by the Northwest High Court in Mafigeng. Both accused are found guilty as charged on count one, it is a count of murder, count two, kidnapping, count three, contravention of section one, subsection 1A, right with section two and three of the Intimidation Act, 72 of 1982. Count four, theft, and count seven, pointing of a fire. Sentencing is set to take place on the 6th of March, 2019.